Marion Oaks, 15300. Um, it's a light pole. Uh, here is the road. It's a pretty clean road. It's from the front. Um, if you can see, the, the roof has got some age on it. So, I have to see exactly how old, but uh, it's definitely not new. Uh, there, this person, whoever lived here before, uh, had a kind of a funky plant obsession that, you know, there's sort of plant stuff everywhere, but it's not necessarily organized or in good shape, but, um, might have been once upon a time when they were here. Uh, there's some interesting things about this house. It's got a little bit extra square footage in places. Um, there's no utilities on, so it's hot. But I was worried because, you know, we're in Florida and when there's no air on, it can get yuck. But we, you know, we haven't quite gotten into the dead of summer yet, so um, it still seems to be okay. Uh, this front part of the house has this tile, which is fine. Um, and it could just stay and, and be cleaned and doesn't look bad. Um, this is a big space right here. Obviously, you can see the chandelier where that's meant to have a, a table. And then this front part is meant to be the living space. So it's pretty spacious. But as you can see behind the, the eating area, there's another little room there um, it, that could be, I mean, I don't know, an office. It could be another TV area. It could be a game area, you know, uh, whatever you wanted it to, to be. Um, there's a bedroom and a bathroom that way. The kitchen is there, that space. And there's another little room right there too that could be a third bedroom. And then on this side is the, what I would call the master bedroom. It's a bedroom that's got the bathroom in it. Um, I guess we'll start there. Sorry, I can't turn any lights on in this one at all because there's no power. Um, the flooring in the bedrooms definitely, uh, it's like a peel and stick. And as, if you can kind of see, it's uh, in lots of places, it's looking like that. It's buckled up, you know, uh, in the weather. Um, somebody started painting at some point, sometime in some of these rooms. Um, some of them look like it's had like a haphazard first layer of, of a, a, some kind of spray painted coat. But um, I will say this bedroom has a big closet for this era of home, but it's a nice big walk-in closet. So there's that. Um, here's the bathroom. It's not terrible. I mean, floor is fine. Um, there's your vanity, toilet, tub, shower combo. The tile on, um, on the shower looks pretty good. It's a plastic tub, um, fiberglass probably, but, um, it looks fine. Window. Uh, again, you can see there was a you know, paint, but you know what, in any of these houses, they're going to need paint, so not such a big deal. All right, here's the bedroom from this angle. It's a good size, for sure. We'll go back out here. Um, here's the front door. We'll go across into the other bedroom. Um, here's the air handler. The air uh, is new, so that's good. I mean, new-ish. I'd have to look exactly at the listing and see exactly, but it looks good. This is a nice big um, hall cloak, coat closet or vacuum cleaner closet or whatever uh, you want to call it. I'm not sure what's happening there. Hmm. Here's this second bedroom. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but you can see how the floor is kind of just all bubbly. Um, <laughs> they did have some uh, interesting little things going on. This is the, one of the rooms that caught my eye where you can see where somebody started uh, with a, a spray gun painting, but then just didn't finish. Um, closet. 
Not a huge bedroom, but you know, big enough for some kids or a kid. Here's the second bathroom. Again, uh, not not terrible. Um, same tub, but original tile. But, you know, doesn't look bad. Variations of flooring all through throughout the house, but this tile in this the biggest space here looks pretty good. I don't there's not like a bunch of cracked tiles or anything. Um, I would have to say the biggest drawback is the kitchen is really small. It's just a little galley kitchen. Um, it's got formica covered cabinets. Um, the fridge almost overwhelms the space. The one nice thing, <laughs> I will have to show you this. Um, this is on here. It is just peel on it because there's uh, metal. There was probably tile on this wall, these like as a backsplash or something that was taken down or I don't know. There was a kitchen fire. I don't know. So um, this probably was the outside. And I'll show you that little room on the other side of the, the, the glass wall there in a second. But I will say one thing that they did because the kitchen was so small that it was nice was they added this in the laundry room because this is the laundry room that goes into the garage. But they did add more cabinets out here. Like you have, you can have a pantry and you've got a little bit more counter space. You could put you know, small appliances, coffee makers or mixers or microwave or whatever, you know, that kind of thing there. So that was nice that they added extra cabinets. Here, this goes into the garage. There's the water heater. Um, here's the garage. It's a long, you know, it's an oversized one car garage. It's uh, obviously that they've got those there and that car fit there and then there was quite a bit more space before the end so um, it's one of the attic spaces this is um this back door of course it goes out to this little porch area and this you'll see what i mean when um it's kind of a homemade job here they just kind of haphazardly laid a bunch of pavers you know cheap pavers themselves um the ac unit is here it is enormous but looks great um they had a bunch of plant setups like they've got a sink here and a probably a potting station um there's all kinds of there's a timer there they've got sort of homemade beds places there are edibles you know trees all over like that's a banana tree that's a banana tree there's citrus trees um nothing's fruiting right now and i imagine there was at one point a lot of edible things here but um just kind of been uh, left to its own devices for a while uh, shed right here again it's a metal another metal one so it could be cleaned up dare i open this Oh yeah, there we go. So, got some more storage out here. It is fenced per se. It's uh, another kind of homemade fencing job on this back section, but it is fenced. They were growing grapes on this at some point um, here you can see the back here it's not a huge yard we'll go back through here we'll go back onto that back porch and stuff in uh, just a second The only way to, I will say, the only way to get to this porch is through the garage there. 
obviously that's just the side of the house so the only way to get here is to either go out the screen porch and around or through this garage door all right coming back out of the kitchen here's the dining area there's the living area from this end um, and then here's this extra room so this could be whatever you want and then there's this so there's no closet but um, it could be a little bedroom you know um, here's that funky glass wall that was actually probably the window out of the kitchen at some point um, I mean it's got vents and everything so it could be a little bedroom it's got a door and then there's this extra space a sitting room and like I said a card room if anybody likes playing poker well, this would be a great poker room um, here's the sliders these are intentionally frosted so um, that m m could be scraped off I think goes out to the screen porch um, screen porch isn't bad it just you know it's got some age on it, it could use a cleaning and then maybe like a spray painting um, you know same thing on the floor if you just painted it it wouldn't look bad um, screens are not terrible except for that guy there um, it is fenced you know around the corner there interesting uh, if this back area was cleaned up and, and made you know to look nice would be all right like i said there's this extra square footage here that is kind of nice you know that you could do something with um these second two are are uh you know not bad you could uh you could live in either of these and do you know work on little things as you went for sure so all right well i will talk to you soon